All right, guys, it's our month to make a Southeast good news video. Let's go. What, yeah. what ideas we got? I don't know, bro, but I'm hungry. That's all I know. Uh, Me too, bro. Oh, what if what if we just get some a bunch of chicken wings and we just pack all the hot sauce and okay. we just I'm with you. we share we share what's going on. Let's get all the while, bad ideas out now. Oh, oh. Holy <laughs> crap. Hey, if there's hot sauce, I'm in. We're good. Hey. What if we what if we just rebaptize ourselves and as we're coming up out of the water, we Ooh. share good news? Yo. Spirit led. It's spirit led. And that could count for extra baptism, so it would work. Oh, and then perfect. Go into the wilderness uh, like Jesus did. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. Not uh, a good idea. All right, cool. Nah, I got it. What if we have a video showcasing the next generation? Ah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. So we started the Southeast Campus Initiative to send campus ministers to every major university in the Southeast. This year alone, the Southeast sent six people into the full-time ministry, including JJ Jones to be the campus minister at University of Tennessee Chattanooga, along with sending people to Texas and New Jersey. You're welcome. Southeast is made up of six states. Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Tennessee, Alabama, and Mississippi. Across those six states, we've had 110 baptisms. You know, each one of those baptisms was a really special memory. Down at Georgia Tech, there was two brothers on the football team that got baptized this past fall, along with some girls in the sororities. And so now we got a football Bible talk and a sorority Bible talk down at Georgia Tech. This year at the All Southeast Campus Retreat, we had over 550 students with five baptisms at the retreats. We also raised a lot of money to send for our first intern in the Southeast Campus Initiative. Also, we had CTP, which is the campus training program uh, at North River, and we had over 300 students register with us. And out of those students, we had 60 ministers and interns who participated in training like they've never had before on campus. 